If you play half a game of every game that we play, then you earn one of these.
everything that she's gotten. Um, and we appreciate it. We appreciate the help that we got from her because I said we couldn't have we couldn't have done it without her. We could have done it without her, but she made it easier with, with some of the things she helped us with. Transitioning from what was going on last year for coming in this year. So we appreciate her help. Oh boy, she got a sneeze. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so tall. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 this person is. This one here is Defender of the Year. Um, who. This was another hard decision for us. Yeah. Another very hard decision. So. She's not here. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Oh, my Oh, my God. 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 Everybody got better. And if you ever get to the point to where you think, I, there's nothing else for me to learn, I can't do anymore, then you, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna stop learning. You're gonna stop growing in whatever it is you're doing. <coughs> but every single one of you learned something. We preach from day one, do better than you did yesterday. Do something better today than you did yesterday. Learn from what you did yesterday and fix it today. Um, you all did it, that's why it was so hard to pick um, the person who won this award, um, but the person who won it definitely does deserve it. Megan and Gotti. 159 saves. So she was doing a lot of work. She was doing a lot of work. Everybody improved throughout the year, um, but what we don't want to see is we don't want to see you next January at the same level you are now. Do something. Throw the ball up against the wall, walk around your neighborhood cradling, something to get better. Because we all have things that we need to work on. Um, 
from from throwing and catching to understanding where you are on the field to conditioning. You don't need a, a coach or anything to run around the block, run around the house, run up and down the street. You don't need anything to do that, but those things will make you better. Because what we've come to notice and we've come to realize is that our skills are not far behind everybody else. Our problem this year was conditioning. First half, we were close to some of those games. But we got tired, we got relaxed, whatever the issue was, second half, and then, you know, it'll be, you know, eight to five at halftime, and before the game was over, it's 23 to four, 23 to five or something. But conditioning, 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 conditioning. And we're gonna get with Mrs. Long this week, meet with her, and talk to her what we can do during the summer. So we can hopefully get together, maybe, you know, commissioning one day, you know, weight room one day. So just kind of keep going this summer. Just remember, um, we're trying to build something here. And it, start, it started this year with you girls. People are asking us, people keep asking us, are you going or are you No, we're not going anywhere. We're here. We want to see packs and girls across. Um, in the state championship. That's where we want to be. We want to, are they still playing now? They're still playing lacrosse now. The tournament, the playoffs, they're still playing. And we want to be still playing at this time of year. We want to be there. And that's where we're going to go. But it starts with you good. We can't do it. We can't do it. We're trying to get um, access to a better field because our field conditions, even when the field conditions are, are favorable, when it's dry, when there's not a bunch of water, we still only got a corner of a field to practice in, which is part of the reason why our conditioning was so poor. Because there's only so much running we can do when we're, we're practicing in a 30 square yard block over here when the field is 120 yards. You know, if you're practicing here and you gotta go play in something here, then it's, it just doesn't translate. So we're trying to get better practice facilities. Um, I'm trying to get more people. The more of you we have, um, the harder you can work when you're on the field, and we can shuffle you in and out. You don't have to be out there for 50 minutes. We can, you know, 15 minutes at a time, shuffle you in and out, and you can work harder in those 15 minutes than you would if you had to stay out there the whole time. So we're working on things to make the program better, um, and we hope you will too. We hope you will too because we want to see lacrosse um, become something that people talk about. Particularly lacrosse at Paxton, but lacrosse in general is, is what we want to see do better in the state. Starting to do better. We uh, have one last award. Best Coach's Award. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's a hard choice. <laughs>